starts with breaking news. Big breaking news out of Sacramento where we've learned at least one person has been arrested in connection with a shooting that left a nine-year-old girl dead. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live at Mama Marks Park tonight in Sacramento with the unexpected announcement, Laura, and the new push to make sure no other family has to go through this kind of loss. Yeah, that's right. Let's talk about that piece of news for a second. That was confirmed by Councilmember Alan Warren, who represents District 2. He announced during a press conference earlier today that police apprehended someone who may be connected to that drive-by shooting that took place here in Mama Marks Parks. Just one of the shootings that happened this past Saturday. Here, four people were shot. A nine-year-old girl, Michaela Brent, was killed. You can see her memorial still set up behind me. Now, today, elected officials were here promising improvements to all parks in District 2. That means potential funding for playground renovations and new safety measures that include cameras with license plate readers, funding for youth programs, as well as for gang intervention task forces. Police stood alongside community members. The message here today, Mama Marks Park is a sacred place that should belong to children like Michaela Brent, who died here just a few days ago. This violence has got to stop. Our kids deserve these parks. We're going to do what it takes to make it safe. That means cameras. That means better play equipment. That means a safer, better, improved park. Now, in 2018 and 2019, Sacramento saw zero juvenile homicides. Already this year, the city has seen bloodshed at the hands of gun violence in several instances. Of course, coming up at 10, we will tell you how some of these park safety measures are going to help stop that violence and how the city plans to pay for it.